we can apply the concept of optimization uh, on an economic situation where the firm is producing more than one goods. This is the multi-product firm that we are trying to investigate here for the maximization of its profits. So we are considering a firm which is in pure or perfect competition and it is producing two goods. Since we are talking about pure competition, the prices are not controlled by the sellers and they are exogenously determined in the market. So we write price first and price second, but the knots they are representing that it is autonomous or exogenously determined price. After mentioning these symbols, we can now come to the revenue calculation, which is definitely the price into quantity and price into quantity of the first good and of the second good. This will give us the total uh, revenue. Cost function is given in which Q1 and Q2 both are involved and that is natural because we are producing two goods and their outputs, their quantities will determine the cost. So both of the variables they are included in this function. Once we have revenue function, the cost function, it is easy to calculate the profit function which is calculated by the difference of the two. This is the revenue function and this is the cost function. Now we have simple algebra after this. Once we calculate the first order conditions, pi 1, the derivative of pi 1 uh, of pi with respect to q1 and then the derivative of pi with respect to q2. And then we will get this expression which can be further written like this and this expression which can be further written like this. So solving these equations simultaneously because we know these are the simultaneous equations, we get the value of Q1 and Q2. These are the critical values of Q1 and Q2. They are not yet in the uh, you know numerical form. So if we assume that P10 is this and P20 is 18, then we can put these values here and get the answer of Q1 and Q2 in a numerical way. So these critical values are now in a numerical way once we substituted the values of P1 and P2. So after finding the critical values of Q1 and Q2 in a numerical way, we can go towards the second order conditions. And for that, we have to calculate these four uh, or three uh, partial second order derivatives. I'm saying three because um, pi 1, 2 and pi 2, 1 are equal, but still we can find all four of them, that is both of them are calculated, though they have the same answer under the Young's theorem. So pi 1, 1 is there, pi 1, 1, uh, once we found it, that is the derivative of the pi 1 function with respect to q1. This is the derivative of pi 1 function with respect to q2. This is the derivative of pi 2 with respect to q1. It will ha give us certain values that we have noted here. And here pi 2, 2 is there. Pi 2, 2 is the derivative of pi 2 with respect to q2. And it is equal to minus 4. So now we can uh, analyze these values. Uh, pi 1, 1 and pi 2, 2 both are negative. It's a good sign because it uh, signifies a maximum point. However, we also check the sufficient condition because this is the necessary condition, but we will also check the sufficient condition. In the sufficient condition, uh, we are getting a greater than sign. As you can see here, numerically it is proved. So it's a good thing for uh, the current situation that we will have a maximum. So the profit of this multi-product firm operating under the pure or perfect competition is maximized while producing 2 and 4 units. The maximized value of the profit is 48. This 48 can be found simply by putting the values of Q1 asterisk and Q2 asterisk in the profit function. And then we will get the f value of the maximized profit 48. So in this way, we have found the maximized value of the profit as well as the critical value of the uh, output levels of the two products that are produced by a firm, which is 
actually a multi-product firm and for this we use the tool of optimization and we had two choice variables in this case thank you